So you can probably pick that stuff out quite easily with the experience that you have. Yeah, absolutely. And I studied all of that. I mean, I was, I would consider myself one of the best in the business. I mean, I invented the Budweiser girls. Uh -huh. I had, I had massive contracts with, um, NASCAR, Carnival Cruise Lines. I've been all over the world, man. I've, I've bumped heads with some of the biggest, uh, corporations. Campaign, the psychology of the ad campaign and the target market. And I've walked away with 25 to $50 million contracts. So I'm no pushover. I'm no idiot. I'm, I'm no, you know, dummy that just decided to open up a YouTube channel and do this. Who came up with the spud dog? The spud dog? Yeah, spud oh, McKenzie. Oh, you mean uh, spud, uh, spuds. <laughs> that was way after me. The Budweiser girls was actually a joke. <laughs> because it was it, it turned out to be a joke that like came up and you know like sex sales and we were right in the middle of these big Budweiser contract negotiations with Budweiser and NASCAR and um, my it was my father's company and my my father had a young girlfriend that um, she looked like um, um, she looked like, um, what's her name, Pamela Anderson, and her name was Cherie, very beautiful woman, complete airhead, and she came walking in as I was having a meeting with my father, and she was dressed in little white shorts, had a little red shirt on, and it just happened to be a Budweiser shirt, and it was, you know, all skin tight, all tanned out. And she was like, you know, you know that, that little bubbly attitude. And I looked over at her and I was like, oh, my God, you know, that light bulb went off because that's the type of mind that I have when it comes to, you know, advertising. And uh, I was like, wow, that's it. She's a Budweiser girl. And my father looked at me. And he says, what the hell are you talking about? I'm like, we're going to we're going to create the Budweiser girls. These girls are going to sell beer. Who drinks beer? Guys. What do guys want to look at? <laughs> they want to look at, you know, <laughs> supermodels dressed in little skimpy shorts, and we're going to take this to NASCAR. And we did. And it went off like a bombshell. And we had a five-year deal, and I went to every single race five years in a row with the Budweiser girls. And... Um, you know, they ended up being models from modeling agencies in the specific cities and states uh, where the races were. And uh, it went off like a, you know, like a charm. And it was worth the $25 million, you know. And, uh, but that's how it is. You know, you get these light bulbs that go off in your head. And um, this is what's happened with me and this whole Planet X. Now, look, buddy. If I wanted to, I could go out to a BMW dealership tomorrow morning and I could drop 65K on a brand new BMW. Can you? So it's not about the money. And you know as well as I do that YouTube does not pay you like, you know, tens of thousands of dollars for your content. So, yeah, my videos are monetized and they're monetized for a reason is because Google and YouTube are advertising companies first and foremost. That's what they do. They're advertising companies. I was in the heyday selling banner advertisement. <laughs> me out front, I have to be monetized. And according to the last amount of money that I received from uh, YouTube, from Google, <laughs> Compared to the hours that I put in, seven days a week, I'm making $2.29 an hour. That's it. Now, two two twenty nine. That's big money, man. You can buy a right. yacht. Two twenty nine an hour? Jeez, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, dude, I mean, I figured it out quite, quite a long time ago because... Um, you know, they have that one uh, internet website called Social Blade, 
and it lists that's all a pretty of cool the, site. Uh, it lists all of the uh, YouTube channels on and your projections of what you're going to be making. And somehow it's Social Blade, and it lists that's all a pretty of cool the, site. Uh, it lists all of the uh, YouTube channels on and your projections of what you're going to be making called Social Blade, and it lists that's all a pretty of cool the, site. Uh, it lists all of the uh, YouTube channels on and your projections of what you're going to be making. 